I'm going to drive responsibly with my bail spike turned down so I don't stab anybody. That would be terrible. Because this is... That'd be funny. You're like driving around with bail spikes pointed out. Some farm theft auto. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I should probably uh, just quit while I'm ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Epic Journey, and welcome back to Valley Spring. This will be episode two. I'm just out here checking on the calves. We've got 20 calves out here in the pasture, and they're doing just fine. They're doing just fine. They have plenty of food. Um, everybody's looking healthy. I may actually move my heifers and stuff out here, too, um, just because... Well, actually, you know what? It's fall. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's a great morning here on Valley Spring. It is a great morning. Looking a little grim. Well, actually, no, not really. Earlier, it was looking a little dark in the clouds, so we do need to take a glance at the uh, the weather. Oh, there's a collectible over there. I wonder how much those are worth on this map. Let's check it out. I haven't grabbed any collectibles yet. I've been seeing them, so I'm going to grab this one and see. It's R. Yep. Five more to be found. $1,000. That'll work. Still got straw here. Got weeds coming up too. So we need to do some work. But uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the weather and also look at our crop growth because... I do have a field that is ready to harvest and I don't know how much time we have today. I got to look at the weather to see, but we're going to come up with a little bit of a game plan as far as what we're going to do. Um, so we'll just chill out here. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to check on the heifers too. We have 15 here. Their food is a little low, 17,000 liters. Um, so we're going to have to start we're either going to have to move them out to the pasture where there's more food or we're going to have to buy some food to put in here because we don't have enough uh, of our own stuff to, to make TMR. So, Or we could cut a field and, and just make hay and, and use that. But either way, we'll figure that out. Um, but first, let's come up with a game plan for the day. And it looks like... Let's look at the weather first. Let's see the local weather. All right, so... Looks like some rain, maybe 9 or 10 a.m., but then cloudy for the rest of the day, so that's not too bad. September 2 and September 3 look good as far as no rain. Actually, it looks like we're good for rain until October or November, so let's look at the uh, calendar here. We do have soybeans planted in our field that's down near the store, and it is time to harvest soybeans, so we need to check on those. We need to check on those and see if they're actually ready to harvest or, you know, they may be, they may not be ready until October. So we need to, we need to do that. Let's also check the store to see if there's anything cool on sale. This would be nice if we, if we had a vineyard for 32,000, definitely don't need that. Don't need a manure spreader. I think we're okay for now. Roller. Okay. And then a Mahindra retriever. Ooh. $10,000. This might be cool. Let's let's do this. I think I'm going to buy this. I do want to buy the Mahindra because I would like to have a way to get around. Especially since I have fields that are away from the main farm. So I'm going to go down to the store, pick up the Mahindra, and I'll catch you guys there. All right, got the used Mahindra. I was about to say brand new, but it's definitely not brand new. It's got three hours on it. Which is a pretty good deal. We got 30 something percent off for only three hours. Let's go ahead and cut our headlights on too. It's still a little dark. This map overall is dark. I noticed that after I QC the first video, but uh, that's just the nature of the map. All right, doggo, get out the road, buddy. Can't be hanging out in the road. Um, we're going to ride down to our field. I forget the number of it, I think it's 151. Something like that. Actually, let me look real quick. It is 156. Close enough, right? We're going to ride down to 156, check on the soybeans, see what's up. And if they're ready to go, we'll work on getting the harvester down here and see about getting it harvested before the rain. 
I would like to get it harvested before the rain. If possible. It may not be may not be possible. We got to I'll be honest. I bought this field. I didn't really recon it. This ain't it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. They're not it's not ready, I don't think. I don't think it's ready. I didn't really recon it very well because I have no idea where the entrance is. Yep. We still got some uh we still got some some growth on this that needs to have needs to happen. <laughs> needs to have. Anyway, we're growth stage four out of six. Um <clears throat> Okay, there's the the entrance is down there. Okay. Let's let's go at least check that out since I didn't recon it before. Okay, looks like I found the entrance. It was on the road, the original road we came down, the little um, path here, but it's hidden. You can't see it from the top of the hill. Okay, um, I think we'll be able to get a harvester in here. It looks like the the hedgerows push back a little bit, and they, they put some bushes here to make, make it look like it's not, but I think they did that so you could swing a harvester in here. Um... We are going to tear up some crop though when we come in with the harvester because we're going to have to bring it in and bring the header in separate um, and that's going to make a little bit of a mess but that's okay. Um, that's alright and we're going to go ahead and shut this gate since that is our field. You'll notice on this map that a lot of the gates are open. Uh, the reason why that is is because the map maker wanted to make it so you couldn't use the gates unless you own the property. And in order to do missions, like contracts on the property, he needed the gates to be open. So all the gates on the map, by default, are open. Um, with that being said, I'll try to get a little bit better at like the management of opening and closing my own gates. Because I've been noticing that I, I, I was leaving my gates open and stuff. But anyway, um, this should be our turn to get back home. But anyway, that's that's the the reason why you'll see gates open all over the map. I am digging this little Mahindra. Uh, just a quick way to whip around, go check things out. I don't know how much use it'll get, but you know, it's just something cool, something cool. And it wasn't too pricey, so I will take you guys down to the field that we mowed and tedded. Or I say we mowed. I didn't actually start. Uh, recording to him after I'd already mowed and was uh, wind rowing. But anyway, we'll go down there and I'll show you our bales and what happened, give you a, a little rundown at what happened after I ended the last episode. The bale wrapper worked fine, but there was a couple times where my, my bale grabber got stuck in the bale wrapper. It's a little annoying. Maybe that's why people don't use that bell wrapper. But I'm going to continue to uh, to use it. So we got, I think there was 17 in that. Uh, that roll. And then there's two rolls over here because, like I said, the, uh, the bell wrapper got stuck in it. So it's about 25. So that's 20. Yep, 25 bales. 25 bales off this field. I'll be honest, that is a bit more than I thought we would get because at first it just looked like it didn't have a good yield based on the wind row. The wind rows weren't big, but that could be a factor of maize plus um, that I that I wasn't aware of. So it could be. Um, but yeah, there's that, and the field does need lime. Uh, the field does need lime, so we I think all of our fields need lime to a degree. So we got uh, some straw to pick up here and get bailed, so yeah, I think that'll be our next gig until it rains. And then after the rain, we'll mess with getting some, some hay. I think we'll cut one of these other fields for hay, but we'll just wait until after the rain for that. So let me go grab tractor 
and a wind rower. And we'll start getting that straw wind rowed. Try to get most of it bailed before the rain. Alright, so we got a bail spike. I will take this over to the farm. And we'll have a way to grab up our round straw bales. I'm going to drive responsibly with my bail spike turned down so I don't stab anybody. Because that would be terrible. Because this is... That'd be funny. You're like driving around with bail spikes pointed out. Some farm theft auto. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I should probably uh, just quit while I'm ahead. Alright, so I went to go get just a bail spike. Ended up getting <laughs> ended up getting the needed uh, the needed weights that I, you know, was talking about yesterday when I was grabbing bales and I had no rear weight. So I do I did grab uh, two weights and I'll show you that here in a second. Got this guy. I got the bail spike and I left the store and got like halfway back. It was like, you know what, I need weights. So we got that guy for the front. Um, I like that one a lot. I don't really need it for this job, but I'm going to use it anyway because it's cool. That's why. And um, I did get another uh, bigger, a much larger weight that I could use on the rear for. Which I think I can use this one on the rear when I'm doing bales. We'll see. We'll see. But either way, um, got some weights. This this weight may make it a little bit tougher to make some turns that I need to make here on this farm, but as long as I, uh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. As long as I take it slow, it should be okay, but we're going to windrow this field of straw and try to get this field bailed. I know, it's like, hey, look, Journey, you're two episodes in, all you've done is windrow and bail and windrow and bail. Uh, we're going to start, we'll start at the top of the field, and also, too, I want to close that gate, so the gate's not in my way at any point. And I forgot, there's a gate here, too, that leads to this grass field. I'm thinking, hear me out, I'm thinking, I might get goats. I might get goats, and put goats in this field, but that'll be a little ways down the line. Um, it actually is turning out to be a freaking glorious morning, so that's cool. Um, it really is. It's kind of a shame that it's going to rain in a little bit, so there's that. But uh, yeah, let's go down here and get set up. We'll go ahead and unfold this bad boy. I really do like this wind rower. It's pretty cool. I should be able to catch. It looks like I could catch two rows, so that'll be cool. Now, when I had the mud mod on... When I had the mud mod on, it did have like mud in the corner of the field. It just randomly put mud or dirt in the corner of the fields. So I couldn't actually harvest that corner right there. Um, so that's why there's still still a crop there. Um, yeah, we'll just go this way. And try to get uh, one lap around. Let me go into third person so I can see what we're doing here. Alright, let's... Uh, Get this thing wind road. I'm barely going to be able to grab two rows, it looks like. Okay, well, that is not the prettiest looking windrow job, but uh, this windrower is a little small for what we're trying to do. So I made it work, and uh, I'm going to go put this up and be back with the baler, get this thing bailed.
Alright, let's get this baler hooked up. Let's get the baler hooked up. Alright, so put it back to work, huh? Put it back to work. Half off here. That. More baling. Gonna be a lot of a lot of baling, a lot of grass work. A lot of grass work. Which of course this is straw right now, but you know what I'm saying. Make sure we can make it in here without. I'm telling you, these gates and stuff, it's 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 crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and uh get that pickup put down and get the baler running. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up, get going. We're gonna go up and down rows first. Go up and down rows. I'll, I'll try to go up and down the rows first instead of around the outside of the field because if you go around the outside of the field then you'll have bales on the outside of the field and that's where you need to turn around and it just is a pain it can be a pain in the ass you know so try to go up and down the rows and get those bales and then go around the field at the end um Based off the last field, I mean, this has nothing to do with the actual production here, but I'm thinking we'll get about, uh, let's say 20. Let's do 20. Let's just take a wild guess there. Let's say we get 20 bales. And these ones we're going to stack at the end of the field as well. There's a bunch of grass over there where the Massey is. And, um,. We're gonna we're gonna stack them over over there, next to the hedgerow. Should be good. Actually, you know what? I could probably bump up the size of these. Yeah, I can bump the size of these up. Let me check that out. Actually, let's see. Change bale size. Let's do. I mean, why not do the biggest ones we can? Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do the big. Let's do the big bales be a lot fewer so now my bail counts gotta change right I don't <laughs> nah we might get let's maybe 15 we'll see we will see so like I said we'll stack the bales up over there already got the Massey with the the new bail fork on it weight on the back this time ready to go ready to uh, start picking up bales later and I'm not doing it, this in any methodical way. I'm just going up and down the rows, you know? Trying to make easy-ish turns. Forward to 100. But yeah, really is a nice day on the map. September 1st. If you look up at the top, we do have rain incoming according to that little weather icon which is okay we should be good we should be good nothing pressing and we do have stuff that we can get done in the rain um, maybe a little immersion breaking but we'll we'll do some things in the rain you know we'll take a little risk I know I haven't done much with the cows yet but like I said they they started out with food so we didn't really have to to do a whole lot to get them going which is nice but we will be spreading some manure here before too long especially on this field so this field I don't believe has any nitrogen actually let's let's take a glance at that yeah, the nitrogen zero on this field. If you look in the bottom right, it's basically zero. So we will uh, we'll be we'll be putting down some fertilizer, and this is also going to be this is probably going to be wheat again. This this winter, probably going to be wheat or barley, um, and then we're we're not going to harvest it next time. So the plan for this field at the moment at the moment this could change because things do change. The plan for this field at the moment is fertilize it, lime it, or lime it, then fertilize it. Maybe that's how we do it. 
um, and then we're going to direct drill wheat or barley in which we are not going to harvest with the harvester we're going to cut it as whole crop silage whenever it is in the forage state which is usually um, the growth state before ready to harvest so we will we will forage this field cut it with a mower basically and we're going to need to get a loading wagon and we're going to use the loading wagon to take it all down to our silage bunker and we're going to do whole crop silage in our bunker at the farm so our silage bales that come from grass for the moment are going to be or the silage that comes from grass on our farm for the moment will be in the bale form and then our whole crop stuff we will put in the silage bunker to ferment that's the plan at the moment and this might be the last crop well we do have those soybeans and I don't think you can whole crop soybeans I gotta do some research on that if you can whole crop forage soybeans I don't think you can because I think when I looked earlier usually in the crop growth state I have a crop growth state mod and in the bottom right it'll say forage I don't think you can use soybean for that I could be wrong and I'll, I'll figure that out but worst case scenario we might actually use the harvester and uh, harvest the soybeans and then whatever we do you know wheat or barley will be will be forged and hopefully we'll get a pretty good bit I do have actually that field just across the way there not the grass field we were on yesterday but the field beyond that it's in a plowed state it's been plowed that field is going to be another field that will have wheat or barley on it and we'll be forged as well so we'll have we should end up with plenty of whole crop silage that's the goal anyway the goal is plenty of whole crop silage see how it actually plays out and I got more grass than I know what to do with so there's that but we do need some hay soon too so Maybe that'll be, uh, I think I said it earlier, but that'll be a project after the rain. We'll be cutting, cutting one field for hay. You know, Mo and Ted and getting one field ready for hay. Just gonna make us a big circle right here. Need to make sure I come back and get that pile too. Loving, I'm really digging the scenery on the map, you know? Got the river here. We're not in the hills. There's pros and cons of that. There is a lot of hills on this map. Um, a lot of really nice hills. Which makes it easier to farm but at the same time that's where the good soil is I believe because if you think about it when we looked at the soil map on in the last episode and you notice we we're all that uh, I think it was loamy sand or whatever um, we're down here next to the river we're in the bottom and I would think that's where the good the good soil would be but apparently not and it just seems like because we are down here in the bottom and we have one soil type basically that it has something to do with us being down here on this flat land let me know if there's any if, if anybody's watching that has some real life experience with that type of thing or knows how that actually works let me know if there's any science to that this setup looks really nice huh
But yeah, we are almost done here. This might be our last bit. This might be our last bit. We got a lot of driving around to pick up here and there, though. Because my wind rowing work was absolute garbage. I don't think we got enough for a full bail. I don't think we have enough, my guy. Um, is this a little piece of a row? We'll hit this. Yeah, that wind row was just, just short. Just short of what we needed. If we could have had a little bit, a little bit more length on it, and all right. Um... Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get enough for a full bail, and I'm not gonna goof around with all these little tiny spots either. I'm trying to make it work because it just uh, is what it is, you know. Try to get this last little bit, and whatever we bail next, we'll just be spitting out a daggum straw bail at the beginning. Is what it is. All right, that's gonna be that. Let's lift the uh, pickup there. And, yeah, I'll take this back to the farm and start getting those bales picked up and put along the edge of the field here. Hopefully that'll look real nice. I know the other field looks great with the silage bales, so. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch you guys when I start picking those up or maybe even after that. Okay, well, we are getting these straw bales picked up. Got most of them, got these last two to do, and we'll be done with this. And we really need to get some lime on this field and the grass field that we cut. But yeah, this is going well. The bell spike is uh, not, it seems like it's more of a bell spike for square bales, but it's all good. Weight's working out just fine. So things are going well. I can't really complain. get these bales put down got these last two like I said and then we need to go to the store and try to lease a lime spreader get that job knocked out so I can stop talking about it you know what I'm saying and then we'll be we'll need to put down some slurry and stuff too eventually Yep, weather's turned out just spectacular. It should start to rain here in probably 30 minutes or so, according to the, uh... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one to the farm. According to the weather app that we looked at earlier, <clears throat> I'm going to take this one to the farm, and we will put it in our bale shredder, and I'll try that out later, too. So let me go ahead and shut this gate. Trying to trying to be responsible and shut my gates. So them heathens don't get in there and do donuts in the field. Because you know they will. I'm just kidding, they will anyway. They just open the gate like I did. <laughs> uh yeah. I'm gonna get this put away and get a lime spreader. I'm just gonna drop this right in here for now. Not a big deal. And I'll just pull this in here. Park her up. Now we're going to take the... Uh, what is this one? 3670. There we go. Maybe I'll remember that. Take the older Massey down to the store. And lease us a lime spreader. That guy right there is only a fertilizer spreader. And it's also very small. So that's not going to work. So we do need a good lime spreader, and we'll go ahead and put a weight on the front of this thing, too. Go ahead and put the weight on. We may not need this big of a weight, but... 
need to start using it, so do that. All right, we are down at the store. Now, just leave the tractor running. Man, can't go in that door. Guess they keep it locked. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what they got for lime spreaders that we can lease. <clears throat> I don't want anything massive. I actually want a smaller one. See, that'd be great, but. Ooh, that actually holds 10,000 liters. Interesting. Let me go make sure the one that I have doesn't hold that much. I didn't think it did. Yeah, it only holds 3,200. That's smooth. Where was that at? That's smooth. If we can get one of these guys, and it allegedly holds 10,000 liters total capacity. XL. You know what? I think we're going to rock that. It's $30,000 total. Um, we could do no... Uh, we'll, we'll keep the Kubota. We'll keep the Kubota logo on it. We could, we could uh, change it up and not make it Kubota, but we'll keep the Kubota logo. That'll be all right. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and lease this guy. 30 grand. Which we're going to lease it for uh, fourteen hundred seventy nine dollars to begin with, and then every day all the 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 payments that we make will go towards paying it off, or at least that's the deal I worked out with the store. So see how that goes. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember where I could get lime. I could buy lime in bags if I wanted, but we're not going to do that. We're going to take it down to, um, store where we can buy farm products like lime and seed and fertilizer. Yep, and here comes the rain. Here's our soybean field right there. And there's a shop down the hill here that we can get some lime. So we'll ease in here and fill this thing up. Not sure how far one load is going to stretch, but I believe it's in here. Yep, this is it. This is the place. How do I open this up? I forget. Um, maybe it'll open on its own. All right, let's fill that thing with lime, boys. Ten thousand liters might be too much. Let's see how the tractor reacts to this. Nope, looks good. Now, we should be able to throw our cover back on, shouldn't we? I don't know why it's not letting me throw my cover back on. Huh. I forget the button for it. I thought, there it is, it's in. It's in. Okay. All right, yeah, we don't want to rain. We don't want it raining on all our lime and stuff. So, back to the farm we go. Soybeans are getting some rain, some much needed rain, I'm sure. I'm thinking we're not going to be able to harvest those until the very last minute, as far as the calendar goes. But I guess we'll see. Alright, we are back at the farm, and we're going to hit the grass field first that we cut, so... We'll hit that one, and then, then the wheat field. That's the plan. I'm 
Mud's still off. Mud's still off. So we'll see if I put it back on. I got to do some research on towing mods and maybe a little bit more research on the, the mud mod before I throw it back on. At least so I know what to do. At least so I know what to do, you know? All right. I don't know how far this thing's going to spread. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we should just be able to start spreading, right? Yep. Looks like it. We should be getting the, um, this thing spreads far too, man. This is nice. This is nice. This is perfect for our farm because it's, it's small. So, you know, I can easily fit it onto any field without having to worry about it being big and not fitting through the gates. That's what I was worried about with some of the, the, uh, trailer lime spreaders. I honestly wasn't even thinking about getting one like these because normally they don't hold a lot of lime and in order to I mean if you know anything about liming on FS22 you need a ton of lime to cover a whole field so usually they're they're not even these small ones aren't even a uh, an option so it looks like this one is the option and I like that I like that seems like it's gonna make life easier and we may be able to get both of these fields Maybe. Maybe with 10,000 liters. And we're getting some on that field too. I'm sure it needs it. Alright, let's cut it off and go hit field number two. Going a lot quicker than I thought. Alright, actually, let's hop out here. Open this gate. Close this gate. Look at me. Look at this. I am just being responsible. All my gate responsibilities. Should have been in first person for that. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's get this thing crunk. I really hope this stretches for the whole field. So I don't have to go get more. That would be tragic. That'd be really tragic. I have to make that trip for just a little bit. But if I did, I would, you know, I could use it on other fields too, so it's not that crazy. Trying to get the most out of my spread, but also not miss anything on the edges. I think I'm going to just drive out to the edge here. That probably wasn't the most efficient turn there. Looks like I had enough. Looks like I had enough. I think that's going to be it for this one. We got everything limed. Got all the straw bales picked up. Got everything baled and picked up and moved. Got these two fields limed. So, so field prep has started. Field prep has started. There's more liming to do. Um, we got more grass fields that can be cut. I may cut and bale them. Um, next time you guys catch me, we'll be doing some slurry, some slurry spreading. All right, that's it for episode two. If you enjoyed this episode, want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I appreciate y'all. Got a journey out.